okay good night everyone so what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be looking at the CSEC information technology school-based assessment that requires you to do spreadsheet database word processing web pages and problem solving and programming however tonight we're going to be looking at the spreadsheet portion of the SBA it is advisable students that you read through the project description prior to completing the SBA we are going to start with the spreadsheet section now task one asks you to create a spreadsheet with the table that is right here the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to sheet one and we are going to call this sheet key so we're going to double click on the sheet one and we are going to type key sheet Now on the key sheet, we're going to replicate this table right here. Here it says design a spreadsheet with a table to the right in sheet one. So we're going to call this, we're going to put this on the key sheet and we're going to start in about row nine. So we're going to start by putting constituency and you want to use a tab key to go into the next column and we're going to type percentage voter turn out now notice that the voter percentage voter turnout is going over into the other column so what we're going to do we're going to adjust the column but we're going to also al allow the text to wrap so that we do not take up too much space we're going to first click on constituency and we're going to double put our position our cursor between the a and the b column and when we get the bi-directional arrows we are going to double click that will ensure that the column widens just enough for the next column, we're going to click in cell B9 and then we're going to come to this option, go to this option right here in the alignment section where it says wrap text. We're going to click and wrap the text, but we do not want the text to go more than two lines, right? Now it is going to three, so we're going to adjust the width of the column by clicking between columns B and C and dragging. So this time we're not double clicking, we're dragging because you want two um, rows. Now, if you notice, this is a bit too high, so we're going to adjust the row by placing our cursor between rows 9 and 10. When the bidirectional arrow comes up, we click and drag up and adjust accordingly. Now, we're ready to type in the names of the constituencies. So, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of the constituencies along with the percentage voter turnout. And we use a tab key to go across now notice when I type 0 0.90 it changes to 0 0.9 because 0 is insignificant on the right hand side so what we're going to do if we want the 0 to remain to go back we have to increase decimal and it will stay like that we're going to continue by adding the remaining constituencies as well as their percentage voter turnout we're going to do the same thing again for this one click on it increase decimal And there we have it the first sheet is pretty much complete the only thing we need to do now is to highlight from cell a9 to cell b16 and we're going to put a border so we go to the home tab we're going to go into the font section or font group and we're going to drop down we're going to look for the icon that says border we're going to click on the arrow and we're going to select all borders another thing you could do is highlight the headings and bold them we're going to leave out the space in this section from A1 to cell B7 or so to put in this candidate's personal data, for example, name, registration number, and things like that. So now let's move over to the, the SBA sheet. So we have just done task one, part 1A. Now part 1B says, 
you're using another worksheet the designer table to record the and it gives you a list of information that must be in that spreadsheet so we're going to look and we see constituency number of voters votes cast candidates name candidate rating party name etc what we're going to before we go and do task b we're just going to come over quickly and you're going to type in the labels so name school center number registration number country country or territory in this case place your school here your name here for example simone brown and then we're going to put us you can put a school there with your center number registration number and territory i'm not going to put those in because those will be up to you all right what we're going to do we're going to copy this we're going to put it at the top of the second sheet before we start so now the second sheet says we are to put the following as part of the worksheet as headings in the worksheet so we're going to start again in cell a9 and we're going to type the headings that they ask us for so click in a9 and we're going to start by typing constituency Use the tab key to go over number of voters. Votes cast. And remember, we're getting this data from the SBA worksheet. So we're going to split the candidates' um, name into la first name and then last name. Next column is candidate rating. then party name now of course we notice that some of the columns are also still going over into the column to them so we're going to wrap the text as we did in the previous sheet so that everything holds nicely and we adjust the columns as necessary to the side and up our butt top or bottom okay so now we have the data here we are going to have to enter the data it says you must enter data for each candidate in each of the seven constituencies it says use a percentage voter turnout data to determine the number of votes cast which is and here's a formula they give you the formula you take the number of voters times the percentage voter turnout so first thing we're going to do is look at this it says you must enter data for each candidate in each of the seven constituencies which means we have seven constituencies as well as four parties and if you had read the project description here it would have told you that there are four parties inside of the um inside of the sb dap wna upm and pdr so if you have four parties contesting the election and you have seven constituencies it therefore means you have 28 candidates so you will now have to enter data for 28 candidates a quick way to do it is to type the first constituency north and we auto fill it by placing our clicking back in the north cell put putting our cursor over the fill handle Click in the fill handle and auto fill one, two, three times. That will give us three occurrences of north. Now, an easy way to do it instead of typing, we can just copy from the key sheet because the constituencies are already there. Pasting it in the second sheet and auto fill it three more times, and we have them. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and continue this and come back with the video. Okay, so we have put in all the constituencies, each of them has been placed in four times. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put in a number of voters for each constituency. Now, if you go back to the SBA worksheet, it would have told you that the number of voters in a constituency ranges from 6,005 to 10,700, which means that the lowest amount of persons that can be in a constituency is 6,5 and the highest has to be 10,700 
anywhere in between these two numbers are fine but anywhere below or above not okay so i'm going to go ahead and put in the number of voters randomly but all of the norths must have the same number of voters so i'm going to start with say 6500 and i'm going to auto fill because it's just easy that way i'm going to say south is about 7800 and auto fill east is another probably 10,100 and we're going to auto fill it as well west is say um, 9,350 and we auto fill northwest 8,560 auto fill then 7,186 auto fill and last one 10,500 and autofill. Now that we have put in the number of voters, we are going to calculate the votes cast. No. Now in order to calculate the votes cast, we have to use the percentage voter turnout that we had put in on the key sheet. How do we do that? Remember, it is a formula, so we're going to put the equal sign and we're going to take the number of voters multiplied by, and we, so we're looking at the North constituency now, and we're going to go back to the key sheet, click on the percentage voter turnout for North. No, because we're going to auto fill it, and this cell reference is in another sheet, and we're going to be auto filling, we need to make this cell reference for the percentage voter turnout absolute so once we click on the 0.75 we press f4 on the keyboard that is f4 the function key that is above the numeric keys on the keyboard when we press f4 you will notice in the formula bar that instead of it saying sheet sheet b10 key sheet b10 it says key sheet and it has a dollar sign to fix the column and a dollar sign to fix the row and we press before we move back to the sheet 2 we press enter if we move to sheet 2 before we press enter, then this reference is going to reference B10 on the sheet 2, which is going to give us an erroneous answer. So before you leave the key sheet, press enter. And then we can autofill all the way down. We're going to do the same procedure again. Let me show you one more time and then I'll do it off the screen. So we're going to click, put equal sign, click on number of voters multiply by and we look for south on the key sheet we click on the percentage voter turnout press f4 on the keyboard then we press enter we go back and we auto fill i'm going to go ahead and put in the remaining ones and then come back okay so we are back now and i have completed adding on or calculating the votes cast for all the constituencies you may notice that when you do some of the calculations you find that you have decimal points now we can't have 0.68 of a voter so we are going to highlight those cells that have decimal points and we're going to click on the icon that says decrease decimal until it becomes the value becomes a whole number now what we're going to do is quickly type in 28 first name and last names it doesn't have to be anything fancy it doesn't have to be anything that match up so i'm going to go ahead and type in for example simone brown or what an easier way to do it is just type 28 first name then 28 last name so i'm going to go ahead and type in the 28 first name then the 28 last name and come back okay so we are back now and we're going to be putting in the candidate rating i have just put in all of the first names and last names 28 of each of them i'm going to adjust the column width to ensure that the last names are not falling over into the candidate rating now let us look at the requirements for the candidate rating it says the rating assigned to candidates are 15 20 30 and 35 these ratings were determined by the results of a recent poll conducted in each constituency by a noted pollster each candidate in a given constituency has a unique rating now what we will do is for each block of constituencies of four you'll you're gonna have four parties in each set of four constituencies 
it means that one candidate will get 15 one will get 20 and one will get 30 and the other 35 so in each of constituencies you must have one person getting 15 another person getting 20 and the other person getting 30 and one person getting 35 it doesn't matter how you mix and match as long as you have one of each of these the set of four in the constituency i'm going to go ahead and type those in 15 i'm going to just start it random 15 20 then 30 then 35 i'm going to go ahead i'm going to stay say 20 30 35 15 30 35 15 20 35 15 20 30 let me see it looks like i may have made a mistake here so 15 20 30 35 then 20 30 35 15 then 30 35 15 20 35 15 20 30 no it's okay and then we start again 15 20 30 35 20 25 sorry 20 30, 35, 15, then 30, 35, 15, 20. Okay, so we have put in the ratings, we're going to put in the parties now. An easy way to, do, to put in the parties is to simply start with the first one, DAP, then you have WNA. UPM and PDR. Quick way to do it, highlight all four, put your mouse in the fill handle, click in the fill handle, drag and auto fill. We're going to put in the borders. And we are actually finished with the second sheet. So that completes task B of sorry task one part b and it says you must enter data for each candidate which we already did we already calculated the number of votes cast and now we're going to it says you are to name the worksheet as elections data you're going to rename the worksheet as elections data because previously it was sheet two so we're going to double click and call it elections data at this point in time you are asked to save your spreadsheet as election so we're going to just save it save and you're going to decide where on your computer you're going to save it typically in your documents or if you're going to save it in your your thumb, on your thumb drive you'll go ahead and select which path you're going to be using i'm just going to save mine inside of a folder called it sba and then I'm going to open the folder and I'm going to give the file the name that they ask us to give it which is elections and there you have it that's your first task completed